good morning students good morning sixth standard well welcome again mr pirat okay lesson number 4 the vedic civilization let us see the summary of this lesson and we have to write extra question answers also okay just listen the vedic civilization vedic sastra the vedic uh, parampara you can say the vedic civilization the civilization that is based on vedic literature is known as vedic civilization okay the vedic literature hmm. the most remarkable feature of ved of the vedic uh, civilization is its rich and diverse literature composed in sanskrit yani jo bhi literature hai vedic uh, literature ko kaun si language mein sanskrit theek hai the vedic literature consisted of the following the four vedas consisted means in few four vedas rigveda yajurveda samveda and atharva ved then brahmanas aryan uh, aryanakas and upanishads and great epics ramayana and mahabharata okay now the family joint family system was prevalent in the vedic period the grihapati was the head of the family the family was patriarchal lopamudra gargi maitre were great scholars the position of women became secondary in the later period due to the stringent social restrictions now day to day life most of the people lived in ardan or battle and top houses houses were called gruha or shala their diet mainly consisted of cereals like wheat barley and rice they used cotton and woolen garments they also used valkalas clothes made from bark of trees they wore strings of flowers and beads and bead strings and golden ornaments nishka a golden pendant was popular it was also used as currency singing playing musical instruments dance and board games were their means of recreation their musical instruments were the veena the shatantu cymbals kant and the damru and the mridanga occupation occupation sane byavsa agriculture and animal husbandry animal husbandry pashu palan okay agriculture and animal husbandry were the main occupations of the vedic people the agriculture techniques improved later the oxen were used to plow the field cows were used as means of exchange the horses were harnessed to the chariots the increase in agricultural production led to the emergence of other occupations such as pottery carpentry and chariot making the artisans and the professionals had their trades guilds okay now the varna system there were four varnas or classes in the vedic society they were brahmin kshatriya vaishya and shudra the varnas were based on people's occupations later they were determined by birth this gave rise to the caste system and led to inequality in society the ashram system the ashrams were a systematic arrangement of an individual's life from birth to death an individual was expected to go through four stages or ashrams in life these stages in life were brahmacharya ashram grihastha ashram manaprastashram and sanyasa ashram now religious ideas the vedic people offered prayers to the forces in nature such as the sun the wind the rain the rivers lightning and storms to secure their blessings yagya was an important ritual ritual in prarthana leading to importance of the priestly class the ved priestly and purohit ha 
जो यज्ञ करता है द वेदिक पीपल ऑब्जर्व डैट नेचर फॉलो डिफिनेट एंड रेगुलर पैटर्न दे टर्म दिस एज रीता नाउ पोलिटिकल सिस्टम ग्रामीणी वॉज द विलेज हेडमान ओके विश्वपति वॉज द हेड ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ विलेजेस देन भागदूम कलेक्टेड टैक्सेस नृप नृप मीन्स राजा किंग नृप वॉज द हेड ऑफ द जनपद ही वॉज असिस्टेड बाय सेनापति एंड पुरोहित सभा समिति विधार्थ एंड जाना प्रोवाइडेड गाइडेंस टू द किंग राइट here our uh, summary is over and now let's start extra question answers we start with extra fill in the blanks okay note down in history copy with me let's start writing this is your homework okay tomorrow i will tell you all the answers but it's you know uh, okay to find out answers from the book right and then i will tell you the answer and you check it Here, the dash was the head of the Janapad. Then number two, the farmers paid part of their produce to the king by way of tax to dash. Okay. Then number three, in the early Vedic period. Okay, 
Dash led to inequality in the society. And the use of the girl, which is murder. Dash in three. See here once again. As the rules of Yajna become harder, became harder, the importance of that increase. Okay. Find out the answers of these five fill in the blanks. From the textbook lesson number four, the Vedic civilization. Okay, and this question is over now. Now we move to next question. This question is also your homework, no? That you want to ask. Right to or false. This question is also as a homework. Yajurveda, see here the question, Yajurveda, information about medical hub. Any input that you have to say, what is the information that you have to say? What is the medical hub? What is the information that you have to say? Is it true or is it false? Is it true or is it true? 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 Upanishad, Upanishad means knowledge acquired by sitting at the feet of the Guru. It is true, what is it? It is true, what is it? Okay.
Now, Aranyakas was composed in forest. Is the statement right or wrong? Sorry, true or false? No doubt. Okay. Read the statements and find out whether the statement is true or false. Next. Was the very and the last one. Now, see here number four. The most remarkable feature. Feature means what? Characteristic. Specially. Why is it? The most remarkable feature of the Vedic period was the Vedic literature. Note down whether the statement is true or false. And the last one, the Sabha and Samiti. They are expected to emphasize control over the king. Now see the last sentence. The Sabha and the Samiti were expected to exercise control over the king. Okay. Give the lesson carefully and find out whether the given statements are true or false. And now here, our period is over. Okay. In the next period, we will write about name the following answer in one word as well as answer the following question in one sentence okay and your homework is that solve the question of fill in the blanks and write to false and read the lesson carefully okay bye bye